Hi there! Today I wanted to share with you something that I got for Christmas from my husband. He was very sweet um, and got something that I have been looking at for a while and so it is still available. Um, so I wanted to share it with you guys in case you're interested in getting um, this set of eyeshadows on QVC.com um, while they are still available or in case you see these shades sold separately um, in the future that you'll kind of know a little bit more about them. So anyway, um, if you know me, you know I absolutely love eyeshadow. That's probably my favorite. One of my favorite things to shop for with makeup. Um, and then on top of that, I really also enjoy Laura Geller. And so when the two are combined, when Laura Geller comes out with an eyeshadow kit um, or a kit that's specifically for eyeshadows, definitely piqued my interest. And so one of the things I had been looking at was one of her holiday collections. Um, and it was called I, I, I. Um, and it's a set of six baked eyeshadows um, that come in this really cute box. Um, and I love the baked eyeshadows. Um, I really enjoy trying different variations of them because you can use them wet or you can use them dry. You can line your eyes with them. You just have so much flexibility with a baked formula. And I think that Laura Geller does the baked um, eyeshadows best out of all the ones that I have tried and so this um, eyeshadow kit really piqued my interest um, and was so excited when my husband got it for me for Christmas so thank you sweetie if you're watching this um, so I want to share with you what the colors are tell you a little bit more about it um, because I do think this is a really wonderful kit I think that it is probably limited quantities um, since it was specifically for the holidays so um, it is December 26 today um, so if you're watching this around December 26, definitely check out the item on QVC.com if you're interested and hopefully they still have it for you. If not, always try eBay. That's another great place to look for um, her eyeshadows as well. So within this kit, when you open it up, it has six eyeshadows um, that are placed in this, this really pretty red container and there's this little plastic thing on the front of it that just tells you the different eyeshadow names. So that's really nice. So you, when you pop that off, then you're just left with the six eyeshadows. And I'm gonna go through the colors and tell you a little bit more about them and tell you um, some different looks that I've tried um, with these colors. I think that the six colors that have been selected for this kit are really versatile. You can try a lot of different colors. Like I said, you can use them wet or dry. You can go from a really natural daytime look um, to a more dramatic look. And so I wanna share with you the colors that I think do that really well in this collection. So the first color that's in this kit is Vanilla Pearl. And Vanilla Pearl is just a really nice cream, sort of champagne color. I um, mean, one of the initial things that I noticed in this eyeshadow is that it appeared that it had glitter in it, which for me, glitter can either be a really good thing or a not so good thing. Um, the not so good part generally is I worry about it falling out and getting all over my face and me having glitter everywhere that I don't want to have glitter. Um, so one of the things to keep in mind is this eyeshadow is beautiful. It comes across really natural um, and the glitter is really pretty on the eye, but I definitely recommend using it wet. So wet your brush, kind of swirl it around in the eyeshadow and then apply it. Um, I did notice that when I did not use this wet, I did have some fallout. So wouldn't recommend it as a highlight color, but just an all over lid color. I think it's really pretty. Um, this is one of the colors I'm wearing on my eyes today. Um, and again, I think it's really, really natural and pretty. It can go with a lot of different things and sort of be a base um, to apply either a purple or um, a gray or brown in your crease. The second color, um, I have to say this is probably one of my top two favorites uh, in this collection. This is called Toasty Pink. And it is just a gorgeous swirl of pink and silver and pewter um, with a little hint of bronze throughout, which is really unique. And I wasn't sure if this was gonna come across as a taupe or a pink or what it was gonna look like on the eye. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, again, I think this is really pretty wet as well. Um, and how I have worn this is to dip my brush 
in water, swirl the colors together, and then put it on my eyelid and then focusing more color within the crease. And this is definitely one of those eyeshadows that with one shadow, you can kind of create a lid color and a crease color with the crease color being a little bit darker. And I love a baked eyeshadow that does that because it kind of serves two purposes when you're trying to get ready quickly in the morning. You can just put use one eyeshadow and put that all over your lid and then focus the color a little bit more in your crease and sort of deepen it up a little bit. And I love that about this color. It does come across as sort of this really pretty pinky, silver, um, metallic. It's it's gorgeous. Um, so I wore this, like I said, um, and tried it out yesterday. And then also put some underneath the lash line and then put a charcoal liner um, and mascara and it was very pretty. So I definitely think it could be one that you could wear during the daytime um, or at night. I think you could definitely um, wear it um, out as well. The next color um, is called Mint Chocolate Truffle and just like the name implies it has some chocolate in there, some um, light green and dark green colors. I have never really worn green eyeshadow before. I think it looks gorgeous on other people but had never really tried it for myself and I was glad that it came in this kit because when I tried it out um, one of the things that I noticed is it was sort of like a, a all grown up green so it's not going to be uh, in your face green color that people are going to say wow she's wearing green eyeshadow it is going to be more of a sophisticated green eyeshadow that i thought was very pretty on the eye um, i also wore this wet as well and it was similar to the last color i talked about i, I put it all over my eyelid and then focused the color in the crease and it, there was so much dimension in the color it was absolutely gorgeous so i think i might have to do a tutorial with this green shadow because if you're like me you might be skeptical about trying kind of a color that seems sort of out there, but it was so pretty and definitely a color that I would wear out at night um, because the way it comes off in the eye is very dark um, and sort of sultry. So I definitely think it can be an eyeshadow that you wear out um, in the evening time. So this is probably the color I'm gonna be wearing on New Year's Eve. Um, got that idea when I was playing around yesterday. So excited about that. Um, working our way down to the second row, in this kit. Um, this is probably one of the most wearable colors in the collection. Definitely for those of you that love neutrals, you love um, browns and champagnes, this is probably going to be the color that you gravitate towards in the kit. This is called Vanilla Toffee. Um, and you can notice I've swirled these together as well and used them wet. Um, but this is a really pretty kind of golden brown color. It's what I have in my crease right now. This is probably a shade that um, if you're not sure what to wear, put this on. It will go with just about everything. So I definitely really like that color. The next color I'm going to need to play around a little bit more with. I'm going to be honest. It is so pretty in the pan. This is called Burnt Berry. Um, and it is sort of a burgundy color, which I think will look really pretty um, with sort of um, lined, um, using it as an eyeliner around your eyes. I do think that this is a color I need to play with a little bit more. Um, I did try it in my crease yesterday with the first color, the vanilla pearl color that I mentioned, and it was, it was pretty, it's just different. So I need to play around with this one a little bit more. So I'm not gonna say I don't like it yet, but just need to experiment a little bit more for myself because I've never really wore, wore that kind of reddish um, tone on my eyelid. So that is Burnt Berry. And then the last color is a beautiful copper color. Um, and this is called Caramelized Copper. Um, and it is just very shimmery. That's one of the first things that I noticed when I tried this is that it does give a very nice sheen and reflection to the eye. Um, if you are someone that you like metallics um, and you like kind of um, the look that an eyeshadow gives when it catches the light, it kind of bounces and reflects the light off of your eyelid, you would probably really like this color, especially if you gravitate towards browns as well. This is a really nice color, again, using it wet and as a liner. Um, it is very, very pretty and extremely pigmented. 
So overall, I think this kit is a great value. Um, generally, her eyeshadows go for either $22 or $23 um, a piece, and I think this kit was somewhere around $65. Um, so to get six eyeshadows um, that generally are $23 for $65, again, a great value that you're getting here. And you get to try a lot of different looks. So obviously I've already started playing around with this um, to try to see what different looks I could come up with. They're a little bit different than what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think this kit definitely mixes things that you can use every day and then at the same time gives you some colors that you might not normally wear that you can kind of play around with and sort of expand the looks that you might normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think this is a wonderful kit. I'm very excited to continue playing with it. Um, if you're interested in seeing a tutorial or just more information about any of the eyeshadows that you see here, definitely leave me a comment and I'll be happy to either do a tutorial or answer any questions that you have. So until next time, I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.